Crazies, welcome in. It's me, Crazy Nog. Today, we're going to do a Superman 1v1 matchup. It's kind of self-explanatory at the top end. It's going to be very hard matchups for Superman. And going to be good uh, matchups for Superman. And we're going to start with Batman. I think he's a bad matchup for Superman. Not saying just his presence on the map as with the uh, Batarangs. It's really hard to approach at times. I feel like Batman has the advantage there. Uh, he didn't get nerfed with his up special or down special. But if it's a good Batman player, it's very difficult. You have to really try hard for the win. I'm not gonna lie. Um, actually, Shaggy is kind of even. If you play it right, you can make it even against a Shaggy player. But if you go in, it's very dangerous because if Shaggy catches you in the jab, you can really just rack up damage and it's he can kill you early. Shaggy, we all know what Shaggy is, but it is doable. Jake, I'll say it's a decent matchup. I think you have to learn it properly. Obviously, with any matchup, you have to learn it, but just his nair alone, you have to watch out for. His nair is insanely strong. Uh, and obviously, his side airs, he usually picks up the armor break perk. So you can't sit there and charge and trade with armor and up tilts and stuff like that. Otherwise, you'll just lose. Finn, almost, if it's a good patient Finn, almost fucking impossible. His, I don't care, even with the nerfs, it didn't change all, anything about him. He can just sit back. If he plays back and plays patient, his jab is so long. Uh, his reads are so easy because of that. Like if he's down holding an up tilt and I dodge left trying to like, anticipate where he's gonna do it no he can still hold as a move for a long time it's still 1.5 but it still it feels like a long time in the game it's long enough to where he can have some wiggle room well if i dodge right but he's aiming left he can just turn around real quick and the sword reaches impossible dude i think harley i'd say you know i'm gonna put harley in good i'm gonna put harley in good actually uh harley if you play it right same with shaggy but shaggy's just a little more more scary harley is you just gotta know she's gonna be very aggressive very aggressive always attacking most times so you just gotta keep running back do not get hit in her combos if you do she can be really strong i say good because it's easier to avoid it's harder to avoid shaggy's uh wonder woman 50 50 she's broken like she's just broken, but with our grab abilities, uh, our armor, we have armor and she has armor with her armor nerfs not being as long. IADs, Nair and Sairs, you gotta watch her for it. Like just with those, so many matchups with Shaggy, you gotta stay back because if you get caught in that, it's mega damage. Steven, I'd say it's 50-50 as well. With Steven's Sair, they did nerf it, but it's still insanely strong. But sometimes Steven will spam. You just have to look out for the Nair. They spam it a lot. You have to look out for the side air, but good Stevens will use the down special, Sair, Nair, and all, like mainly all those. It's really easy to dodge his like uh, explosive line that he puts down. If you don't go for the watermelon Steven just right off the bat, you can just avoid him pretty easily. It is annoying though. You have to just be aware of those three abilities. Rain Dog, I'd say it's good. It's not free. He has a uh, strong uh, move just because of his freeze. He can freeze his fireball, crystal, his other uh, projectile. And as long as you do not dive in to a Rain Dog, you are good. You are golden. They always want you to dive in for their up tilt, their charge up tilt. Just be careful. It's just a lot of these matchups. I'm telling you, it's going to be repetitive, but I'm telling you, you just have to bait out the moves. Side special is a very strong move on Rain Dog as well. You have to watch out for side special because it hits far and you could always expect it. Off the edge, if you get trapped off the edge, they're going to fire the projectile to where it goes past you and then they'll try to go down and hit you with the side special into the wall, which then will bounce you into the fireball. So you have the gauge. Am I close enough to dodge up and get over because I know he's going to come down? Or do I have to dodge under the fireball, dodge, and then a double jump with A, and then a fly to try to get above the map? And if he hits you off again, you do it with Sarah, grab the wall, and try it again. More often than not, you'll get back on the map. Bugs Bunny? God, that's a 50-50. Oh my god, I was just thinking about it. It's so goddamn annoying. Strongest ability in the game, one of them, is where he can go in his hole. Just run away from his hole. Safe, just try to stay back and avoid it. Don't even contest it. Sometimes you can do, right when he drops down the safe, depending on how high he is, you can do a down tilt to break the safe immediately. But if he catches on, he'll he'll punish you for it. So you need to be careful of that. Good players are aggressive and they go for the dodge jab into Nair, into like down air, into Nair. Like they can get you like 40, 50 damage. I'd say it's even though. Same play style. You have to stay back and wait for him to whiff those moves because they're so fast and hard to punish. You can try a few times where you're the one punching before he to anticipate him dodging into you, but it's such a risk, dude. It's such a risk. If you fail, you're, you're risking 40 damage plus. Tom and Jerry, I'm not saying I'm gonna say it's impossible, but a very bad matchup. I don't even care about Tom and Jerry's nerfs.
Bruce. People are just don't understand how hard it is for Superman. A lot of characters can kill Jerry as soon as you shoot him. I can't. I can't kill him that fast. If he does a rocket, he does tennis balls and it shoots two corks. Before I can even get a charge attack where it does kill Jerry, my armor breaks. And then his dynamite that he throws back, he can put down a mouse trap. It's like if he plays it right, his up tilt, if he ever catches me in that, which is not a hard ability to hit. I'm starting to tell you, it's a bad matchup. Openings I found, if a Tom and Jerry jumps over and shoots the Jerry, you can anticipate that and dodge under and try to get attacked. But I think you need to be more aggressive with Jerry, not let him set up his mouse traps. Now let him dynamite all the time. You have to anticipate that though, because sometimes he'll go in for a combo and get hit by that. Don't let him set up so much all the time, I think. I'm still learning against him, but it's definitely bad. Uh, Garnett is actually, believe it or not, a bad up matchup for Superman. I don't think he's even 50-50. Like, Garnet is strong as heck. Like, it's similar vibe Superman where he's just trying to get the melee attacks, but damn, she's thick. I mean, do I have to explain to you? She's thick! Thicker than oatmeal. Isn't that right, Jeff? You said you had a crush on her, is that right? Uh, um, uh, I, don't, I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't have to I'm stopping. <laughs> Jeff, is, you're, for, you're sweating. You're sweating. <laughs> anyway. Either you counter her by being aggressive, but if she is aggressive, use a lot of armor. Use a lot of armor, up specials. I like up special a lot. The only problem with up special is it takes a little bit for the armor, but if you know that they're aggressive and you have a little bit of distance, do an up special, because it's a lot scarier for them to approach the up special because of the up and down. Do up tilts, nares, that it catches people off guard, but yeah, same kind of play style though, if that doesn't work. If they're playing a little passive, then you wait for their move. It's as simple as that. Try to freeze her a little shoot, her fist and her projectile as well. Arya, bad matchup. People might disagree. Dude, her down tilt alone makes it so hard to read. Superman players are big boys, I'm telling you. The way to play her is either bait her out with ice and just back off and make her go into uh, out of dodge meter and try to look for something, or you kind of mix it up and then go in to her and try to get a dodge but if you miss that you're just stuck in a combo just like shaggy it's almost worse than shaggy but it's a bad matchup velma i actually have fought a velma with the new update but i, I honestly i'm gonna say it's 50 50 with her new update this, this clips i've been seeing you can freeze her projectiles but man she has a lot of presence on the map i'm just gonna put her in 50 50 because i don't really know with her buff she seems very good very good buffs i'm gonna put her 50 50 at the end taz i'm gonna put in free uh good taz player is gonna be very difficult obviously the only thing you gotta worry about is tornado and you can counter that with armor if he knows that you counter with armor just avoid it just avoid it if he like tries to bait his tornado you can easily dodge his uh dog pile if he's going off the edge and you're hanging on there dodge off the wall jump up and then fly over it he has little to no control on that if he reads that and he's going off to the side then you can read that and just wait just wait at the bottom you have a lot of time if he does have armor break dash attack watch out for that you can punish that with a uh, jump and a dare so keep that distance though and then just look for those opportunities to go in be careful he does tornado a lot in the air so sometimes you can think you can get him but it's like not enough time and you get hit in the tornado and then if you get hit by nair and side air avoid that being super close to the edge because if he hits those it's overall it's not a matchup that i'm like sweating my balls off i'm gonna say 50 50 with iron giants i actually might put him at the top of 50 50 because if he gets a hold of you he can do so much mega damage and loops because you're a big boy big sweet juicy boy dude he has so much but the thing is if you utilize your armor properly you can counter his interactions but you still have to play it you have to wait for his jabs you can't just go in there oh yeah let me go in and your armor the biggest thing you have to watch out for is his thorns i think is what they call it did it get out of jail free card that is like what almost makes him a bad matchup because if you're doing combos, you cannot do full combos. Unless you're in the middle and you're like get up on health to force it out. Honestly, suggest is to try to do a fly and to force it out. Or do jabs and turn on lasers and like just put a lot of pressure on him to force him to use that mechanic. Just don't be off the edge. When it, don't go for him off the edge. Don't go for him way up in the air if he has the thorns up. Cool down. It's long cool down for like 38 seconds or something. It's insane. Usually you can get a stock off before he gets it again. If he gets rage, I think you can still kind of camp the uh, edge if you need to, but just don't do that right away. Try to freeze it. Try to fly over. Don't get caught in his foot. LeBron, I'd say it's a good matchup for LeBron because towards the end too, because you can freeze his balls. But man, if he gets a hold of you, so many matchups are like, oh, if he gets a hold of you, 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 if he gets a hold of you. 
can be dangerous, man. Watch out for the stairs. It's very long. It's a lot longer than you think. Be really good at dodging his down special if you get on the ledge. Know the ball is coming. So if you're flying back to the ledge, know it's coming. Cancel your fly. Stall and then dodge the wall. I'm telling you, it might be scary that you'll want to die, but you'll guarantee die. That kills so early. Morty. I'm gonna put him 50-50, uh, a little bit further up here. Uh, you can freeze these grenades, but his melee game is strong. I don't care what anyone says, dude. Uh, he might have some bugs, but I'm not taking into account bugs, because those are bugs. I'm taking into account his kit and how it was should have been designed. All they nerfed was his up air. Dirt into Sarah can kill at like 90. Really the most annoying thing besides dirt is the, I don't know what it's, if it's a side special, but it's the one where it shoots the snakes, but it's just the ball. It comes out so fast. Make sure to watch th that on cooldown. Uh, it should be good. Mortys love to dodge in. Their dodge in is quite large. So you kind of have to accommodate for that. You try to dodge. Just try to get used to jabbing one direction, but immediately turning the other way because he is going to try to dodge through you a lot. It's a tough matchup though. Rick. That, I will say, is a bad matchup. I want to sugarcoat that. That is a bad matchup. If he gets a hold of you with a jab, you are absolutely screwed. Ah, uh, you know what? And I don't even care. I don't even care that I can freeze his shit. I really don't. Because you can punish freeze. Because, like, all the stuff that he uses for the freeze isn't absolutely necessary. Because when he gets you in a combo of the, with a portal, like, he can rack up so much damage. Some things he can get reads, but, dude, there's a lot of damage that can go out. Stripe. I'm gonna put him in bad. I don't care. If you do not play him properly, if you do not... Oh, my God. If you do not force yourself to create space, almost like you're running away, playing like a little coward. I don't care. If you do that, you have to do that. Go back, freeze. Look for those tiny opportunities to go in and do some damage. Wait for him to use dodge meter. If he has dynamite, run the hell away. Look at the timer. He can activate it early, but look at the timer just in case he doesn't. Know that he has to activate it and then he can choose a direction. Don't go where he thinks you're going to go. Try to go the opposite direction or whatever. He's doing damage to himself. So you got to slowly whittle him down and then go for a jab combo into an air or up air, whatever. Black Adam. You know what? I'm actually going to say good. I'm actually going to say good matchup uh most annoying though you just have to play how i've been explaining like over and over you have to beat out his attacks he's extremely fast he's extremely aggressive one thing is if you do get in the jab combo like jab jab fly jab jab like you can try to go left or try to di to the right on the first one so that when he tries to go for the left you gotta mix that up just to always assume he's going to do a move when you try to do a move. So try to pretend to go for a move. He'll do a move. Try to counteract yours. You dodge away before that happens. And then you go for a move. Like it's just you have to whittle him down. But I think it's doable because he's a big character. It's a tough matchup. I, I'm tempted for 50-50 because it kind of is. But I, I'm going to put him there. Gizmo. And when I say impossible, it's not actually impossible, guys. All right. But Gizmo is a annoying motherfucker. It's the same thing, guys. I'm repeating myself over and over, but there's only a few. The only times you want to be aggressive for most of these fights is to like throw them off guard. Like, oh, he's been playing passive the whole time. Nope. I'm going to go in and do a jab and that's like looking for those combos. Uh, his car. I try to go off the edge with this to avoid the car because people will dodge, try to dodge to the right because they think they're going to get blown up. A fake dodge into the right he's gonna drive the car oh I go forward like you're gonna jump this way but then go the other way because he'll switch and then he'll switch again and then you can kind of go off the edge and camp it out the third one uh be careful of gizmo's ledge guard maybe it's it but it's the keyboard man that hitbox is insane uh his arrows try to freeze freeze him and he's gonna immediately try to cancel it and try to go aggressive so you gotta like freeze and dodge away they go on burnout so often but even on burnout they are so aggressive so they can hold their little tiny feet right feet and the umbrella don't forget about the umbrella if you're gonna go close to them assume they're gonna use umbrella as well marvin marvin is the most miserable it's the same thing but even like more cancer marvin doesn't have as much kill potential as gizmo but it's just he has even more cancer with projectiles. Even his melees, you get caught on the edge. It's just so annoying. You got to get back on the edge as much as you can. Use your ice. Force him to go in and make your move. Assume he's going to go in because you're icing. Joker. I'm going to put him 50-50. He is a big character and you can do some good damage to him. Because big character matters as well. Like how easily you can hit him. Always look at his cards. I've realized that jokers are just, I am robot. I throw cards. They throw cards off cooldown. <laughs> For the love of God, be careful of the side special. I'm telling you, it goes longer than you think. It goes longer than you think. 
Holy shit. The one where he spins his crowbar. Beat him out, bait out the jabs. Watch out for his slide that he'll throw out every now and again. Be careful though. Don't, try not to go for the finish with the up air because they do the fart bomb and then up air and you're just screwed. You're at the sweat. But out of guard, I'm going to put it as free. He's got a, he's got a heavy whiff character. Uh, the, what you got to watch for, uh, for really is the Sair, like up special and up air and side special in the air. Jason as well. He's just got the range, dude. If you let him hit you multiple times, you can be screwed. But ultimately, I'd say he's free. Uh, use your fly to break his armor most of them won't expect it but if they start dodging it don't use it just wait it out bait out their attack for them to waste it agent smith this is a good matchup you can freeze his clone be wary of the range of his weapons and know that he's going to go for down special side special and uh yeah just be aware of that and you got you got it samurai jack I'd say it's good. Side special, everyone knows that side special is freaking donkey balls. Dingleberry behavior, let me tell you that. Avoid his side specials, avoid his jab. At this point, you should not be getting hit by the side errors. It's just the ledge. The ledge is tough because he has a lot of range, but you got it. It's kind of same with the Edge and Smith. There's a few things you gotta watch out for. Beetlejuice, I haven't played against him a lot, but you can freeze a beetle. And for that reason, I think he's a good matchup. I haven't played against him a lot, only like a few games, but play the way, the way I was talking. Oh my god, I have an aneurysm. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. I didn't think this video would be this long, but it turned into a, just reading a tier list to actually like telling you what they do and how to counter them. So I've actually enjoyed that. But crazies, I think that's it in order. Uh, might not be perfect. Let me know if you guys agree. It is anecdotal. It is based off my experience. I'm coming from a point of view of like assuming these characters are good at their character, you know? Any character in any game can beat each other in a match. Let me know if, what you guys want down below. It really helps me out with the content and what you guys want to see. With that, crazies, I say good night and goodbye. Thank you all for watching. <gasps> goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. All of you, crazies. Goodbye.